my channel. It's me, Lauren O'Lauren. This is a setting that you guys have never really seen me in before, but um, a lot of you always ask me, how do I eat in a day? What do I make? How do I make my food? I always try to show you guys little bits and pieces on Instagram, but I decided today that I was gonna dedicate my kitchen and I cleaned up everything, you guys. I even took all the shit off at the top of my fridge. You should have seen in here before I fucking fixed it. It was a mess. Anyways, so I wanna show you guys basically what I eat in a day and all of that, and I'm gonna just like walk you through what my diet consists of, basically on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just wanna start by saying, Henry, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no. As I was saying, I'm sorry, I apologize. So, let me just start by how I eat. So a lot of you guys know I don't eat meat and I am lactose intolerant. I get a lot of questions on what do you eat? Um, what do you eat to lose weight? What do you eat to gain weight? How do you know that you're getting enough protein in your diet? How do I stop cravings? The truth is, I don't fucking know. I am not a fucking nutritionist. I am just here winging it. People complicate food. Food is not that complicated. The only thing you need to make sure is that you have a healthy relationship with the food that you eat. Pay attention to how you feel before you're hungry. Pay attention to how you, you feel after you eat. Do you feel stuffed? Do you feel uncomfortable? It doesn't matter if you're eating vegan, vegetarian, or meat, or pescatarian. As long as your body is comfortable, listen to the way that your body feels. Pay attention to the way your body feels. Your body tells you when you're, whatever you're putting in there is not working. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't follow trends. It doesn't really matter what you're eating. I, 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 one of my pet peeves are trendy people who eat things to be trendy and because they're eating a certain way, they want everybody to eat a certain way. A lot of people ask me why I cut meat out of my diet. The truth is, meat was making me sick, very, very sick. Um, ever since I relocated to the United States, it became harder and harder for me to eat certain foods that I used to love eating in Jamaica. I am not cutting meat out of my diet because I'm all about the animals or I believe that people shouldn't eat animals. I think you should eat whatever the hell you want to eat. Um, I just cut it out because it makes me feel sick. If meat didn't make me sick, I would still be eating meat. I'd be at Chick-fil-A right now ordering a meal. Like It really doesn't matter to me. Eat whatever you want. People shouldn't feel bad for what they eat. Like I said, just pay attention to how you feel. I don't necessarily stop myself from eating anything unless, you know, like, it's like, I just don't eat it. The, you know what, like, if I feel like eating a bag of chips, I'm gonna have a bag of chips. If I feel like having some ice cream, I'm gonna have some ice cream. I don't have ice cream all the time because I am lactose intolerant and it really makes me uncomfortable. But you know, just, just, just eat whatever you want. You know what I mean? Eat whatever you want, go to the gym, laugh and be happy. That's all there is to it. It's not that complicated. If you guys don't know, my mother-in-law gave me this for Christmas. It's a red apron. It says Lauren's Kitchen. I'm hella psyched about it. This is my first time wearing it. If you guys are curious where it came from, it's it, this was the tag that was on it. It's called Calf Home. It's 100% cotton. In case you guys are interested, I don't know what Calf Home is. So, all right, so let me show you guys how I start off my day. So I started intermittent fasting maybe maybe three years ago. I haven't had meat in like four years. Yeah, roughly four years. So how do I identify? Am I vegan or vegetarian? I don't identify as any of those things. I just don't eat meat. I don't eat fish. I don't um, have dairy. I have cheese every now and again because I am obsessed with cheese. I have eggs maybe every three months. So yeah, the only thing I will just not, and shellfish, I'm allergic to shellfish. Like, I'm allergic to shellfish. So I guess some people would consider that to be vegan, vegetarian, it really doesn't matter to me. Like I said, I don't identify as any of those things. I really don't give a shit. Like, the labels, they don't do anything for me. I'm not one of those people who have it in my Instagram bio. I don't really care. It's, eat whatever you want to eat. Just eat whatever you want to eat. So I started intermittent fasting a couple years ago and I actually really, really like it. And what intermittent fasting does to me is it has shrunk my stomach. I go to the gym first thing in the morning, I go on an empty stomach. So I start my day off with a vitality shot. And I just started doing this maybe three weeks ago. I'm not gonna have this right now because I already had it. It is 3.30 at the moment. And I haven't eaten all day yet. So I know this video seems like it's like chaotic. But this is what I usually start my day off with. It is a vitality shot. You can get this from any brand, but this actually comes from Pressed Juices, Pressed Juicery. But anybody makes these, you can go in your Whole Foods, your supermarket, your Target, and get like a turmeric shot. They have ginger shots, wellness shots. 
This one has coconut water, turmeric, lemon, and black pepper, and I just shot that first thing in the morning. Or if this is out of your reach, what I used to do for a couple years, and I actually still do from time to time, is I mix apple cider vinegar with water and a little bit of honey, and I have like a whole water bottle full of that. I will show you guys how to make that another day. Um, not right now because I don't have the stuff out, so yeah. So I typically have my first meal at 1 p.m. And I will get my day started and everything previous before. When I just started intermittent fasting, I don't remember if it was hard for me because I naturally don't eat breakfast. I'm not a person who is a breakfast person. Some people cannot go without breakfast. My husband cannot go without breakfast. He will fall over and die. If I eat breakfast, I get sick. But I can go until like, so I will usually start my first meal at like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. It's 3.30 now. I haven't eaten yet. So let's just say I start my first meal now at like 4 p.m. Then I will take my last meal like within an eight hour window and the rest of that time is fasting. Your body burns more fat. It's just, there's a lot of things associated with it. You can hit up, hit up Google real quick. I cannot use this entire video to explain that, but it is really good for you. Fasting has done a really good, a world of wonder for my body. So my first meal is typically lunch. So it depends on where I am. If I pack a lunch to go to work, I don't, a lot of people stay away from rice. Like I said, you have to decide what your body works with. I eat a lot of rice. I eat rice all the time. My body and rice get along just fine. I love rice. Rice is life. Uh, but not a lot of people can eat rice. So I'll make like a chicken substitute and then I'll have it with some rice and then I'll have my greens on the side or you can have quinoa. It just depends on what you really want. With my first meal, I take vitamins. I became a big vitamin obsessed person like in the last, like I wanna say two years. I have noticed a big difference in just my body, my skin and how I function ever since I started incorporating some vitamins. You do not have to take these specific type of vitamins. You can take whatever you want. Um, but right now I take the red carpet from home the flatter meat, I swear by this by the way, it's enzymes that help you digest your food. So you take two of these a day, one with each meal. So that's what that looks like. Okay, you know what? I will show this to you guys after. And then I take two red carpets with my meal and this is black currant seed oil. And it's got vitamin E in there and it's supposed to help your skin glow and your hair shiny and all that good stuff. So I take that with food. Gardein, I swear by these things guys. I told you, I freaking love Gardein. We're gonna make some garden chicken strips. It comes with a sauce. I am not going to use the sauce that's in there because I just don't fuck with it like that, you know what I mean? And then we're gonna use some Simply Balanced Farro. You can get these in Target. That's where I got this one. I am not like a rice person. I'm gonna be honest, like rice and I we just don't get along. It's really hard for me to make it. So I like to buy the prepackaged ones. It doesn't really matter. This is not rice though. This is, this is whole grains. You gotta like work that in there and get it done popping. Use a little bit of olive oil. I have my, um, what you call it? Some <sighs> spinach. I'm like confused at this point. Like this cooking shit is super hard. But this is one of my favorite seasonings in the world. This, guys, pick this up. This is so good. It makes everything taste good. And then I like to use ground cumin. I've got some ground ginger. I put ginger in everything, you guys. Like, literally everything. And then I just discovered this the other day. Actually, I might use this one today. This is garlic, herb, and black pepper, and sea salt. So, I don't need the ground. I'm gonna get rid of the ground ginger and get rid of this. As it relates to seasoning, do whatever you want. While that heats up, I'm just getting ready to put, like, you know, my ingredients in. Ooh, that's nice and hot. food at home I would make this or I would make this and bring it to work the next day and you can definitely pack this there's absolutely nothing wrong with that this is like a good meal to pack and take to work
is my lunch right here. So I've got my garden chicken that I seasoned. I've got some nice steaming farro. I've got some spinach, and that's lunch for me, guys. It's me, I'm back. So the first meal of the day is lunch, which I already told you guys is off to a banging start. <sighs> Look at that, don't you wanna eat it? So, 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 so good. So around this time of day, if I'm getting a little hungry or whatever, what I will have for a snack, a little 5 p.m. snack, is I will have some rice cake with some almond butter and bananas on top. I have bananas, but they're not ripe, so. I'll have cereal, okay? I know you guys have seen my stories where I'll be at work and I'll just like have cereal, and I have any kind of cereal. I like special case cereal. I like Lucky Charms. You eat whatever you want. I usually have cereal at this time of day with like some almond milk or oat milk depending on what's available to me. What else? Um, I'll have grapes. I'll have almonds. I am huge, huge almond addict. I love almonds. To be honest, I don't hold myself to any rules when it relates to food. As long as I can eat it and I'm not allergic, it's not going to hurt my stomach. I eat whatever I want. If I feel like having a bag of potato chips, I'm going to have a bag of potato chips. The thing about it is I don't really crave things like that. You know like how when you have beer for the first time, they said beer is an acquired taste? Healthy eating is an acquired taste. So you'll have something for the first time and you'll be like, oh my god, this is so disgusting, it doesn't taste good. The more you eat it, the more your body craves those things. So sometimes you gotta retrain yourself to eat healthy. A lot of us grew up eating very unhealthy meals. For dinner, I love a good salad. I think I am a professional salad maker. If you guys are in my on my Instagram, you guys know that I do not fuck around with salads. I love my salads. I'm gonna show you guys how to make two salads today. Um, you can add any variations that you want. The good thing about food is that you can substitute whatever you want and do whatever you want. I'm just gonna give you a guide and you can fill it in along the way. I do not use salad dressing, that's something that I cut out. I was never a salad dressing type of girl, but if you need to use salad dressing, you can. I have cut salad dressing out because one, it kind of camouflages the taste of the greens. When you get a taste for your greens, your veggies, you do not want salad dressing to like camouflage that. And a lot of people do that when they try to have a salad, they flood it with salad dressing and you just miss the taste of like your fresh greens and it's really just like, gross salad dressing is gross like i don't I, i'm not trying to like tell you to eat something i'm not trying to be one of those people telling you to eat whatever but it's just not good it's disgusting try one of my salads without the salad dressing and tell me if you like it i'm going to show you how i kind of substituted and make salad dressing a thing of the past all right so let's make two of my favorite salads so I like to use a lot of these little garden meats. Um, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what they're, this one. This one is chick, chicken and tenders natural hot. It's really spicy. And this has pea and wheat protein. This is one of my favorites. My husband just put me onto this one. So basically to, to prepare this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, so this goes into the oven for 20 minutes. And then you take it out and then it's going to be ready for our salad. My dinner salads. So the two salads that I'm going to make for you guys is just two different substitutes. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to throw some spicy Nashville chicken tenders in the oven, which I've already done that. Um, I have here two different types of greens. I have arugula, baby arugula. Arugula is one of my favorites. No, arugula is on top of the list. I love arugula so much. It has a very distinct, earthy taste. I eat this by itself. I eat this raw as like a snack. I'll sit in front of the TV. Who am I kidding? I don't watch TV. But like, I'll sit on the couch and I'll read my audiobooks and I will eat this by itself. I also like, um, I like a good baby spinach mix. I like spinach, but I prefer it when it's mixed up like this, the colorful ones. And this is the brand Good and Gather, and I think this is a Target brand, if I'm not being mistaken. And this is Organic Girl. 
I like this brand as well. I have some strawberries here. They are nice and fresh and fat and plump. These strawberries are thick, okay? Thickums. These strawberries are like me. Thickness. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of cooking with me is this time? The garbanzo beans is over the sink on the cat seeds. What am I doing really? A mess. So I have garbanzo beans. I also have canned peaches. And make sure before you use any of these cans, you rinse the top of them because just rinse them, all right? Soap and water, whatever you gotta do, but rinse them. I have my pan on the stove. It's the same pan that I cook the chicken teriyaki's in. And I just put my olive oil in here. Could you even see the pan? And I'm gonna cook the garbanzo beans, chickpeas, and I'm gonna season it to the gods. And that is gonna be the protein for one of my salads. And the other one is gonna be the Nashville chicken hot tenders, the fake chicken, as I like to call it. So, let's take it to the counter. I might have taken out too many strawberries, like did I? Like, These are our Nashville hot chicken tenders, so I'm just gonna take a few of these, not a lot. Oh, yes, honey, yes. Oh, and a taste. Mmm, so good. Oh my god, it's hella spicy. I think I'm gonna die. P.S., I did tell you guys that this is spicy, okay? Okay, so we're gonna just put a spinach blend in this one. guys don't don't come for me it's washed so you don't need to think what the hell like i washed it what the fuck so i'm gonna put some arugula in here uh usually when it says triple washed um you don't have to wash it i don't and i'm still here <laughs> i'm still alive and my last checkup with my doctor my doctor says i was one of the healthiest persons he's ever seen come through his doors so <laughs> Talk to me nice, okay? We're gonna throw some strawberries in here. I'm just gonna dice up these peaches real quick. And this is like a nice colorful salad as well. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna use some hemp seed. I just discovered this through a friend of mine. I put it on everything. It's good in smoothies, yogurts, it's good on whatever you want to put it on, and that's just it. After you've opened it, you keep it in the refrigerator, and I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. And like I said, when I make a salad, I make it, wow, a lot fell on the floor, and you're going to have a field day. But whenever I make these, what is wrong with me? They're spilling everywhere. So this is your first salad. This one is like a fresh, um, fruity, just like a light salad when you're not like super hungry. You'll, you're gonna digest this really quickly. It's really pretty. It's bomb.com. It is so good. And this I do with the mixed spinach. So this is why you don't have no seasonal fruits. You get me? <laughs> Maybe you want something a little bit more business-like. You don't want all the drama. So this is, there's a lot of arugula in here. And you just mix up your, you know, keep it mixed up on such. Gonna put some, God, this smells divine. We're gonna put some quinoa in here. You can just put it in the middle. I don't know why I'm being dramatic spreading it all over. It's really not that big of a deal. So there's that. I love quinoa, you guys. Like. I will OD on this quinoa, okay? Mmm, so good. Then, now we're gonna use our chickpeas, right? Mmm, mmm, mmm. And this is what I like to call a more serious salad. This is my serious salad. It's really, really serious. I love chickpeas, so I can finish all of this. And this is your second salad, okay? I don't think you guys can see it that close. I don't know why I'm coming. So it's just arugula. 
quinoa and your chickpeas as your protein if you don't have any fake chicken or anything like that. I have a few leftovers, so I'm just gonna put them in the corner. If you don't mind, I'm not gonna waste any food in this house, okay? That's basically what I eat in a day. I start eating like around the time I said, like I would have my dinner around seven, eight, or nine. It just depends. Sometimes I go all the way up until 11 p.m. at night, but that's usually because I started eating at like four or five o'clock. You can add your own versions to everything that I just had. You can substitute, you can put meat, actual meat, instead of like the fake meats that I've been using. You can start off in the morning with like oats, um, some tea. I like to also drink tea throughout the day. I didn't include that, but even though I'm intermittent fasting, I like to have tea throughout the day. I I will have my Starbucks drink, my chai, my iced chai with two extra pumps of chai. If I'm having having if I'm having iced matcha latte, I have it iced with three extra scoops of matcha. I always go venti. I never go grand or small. It doesn't make any sense to me. I always take a venti size. So those are the measurements I'm giving you for a venti size. And I use almond milk and that's about it. With the chai, I'll add some cinnamon powder on top and I will have that throughout the day like before I actually start eating. There are no rules to eating. Like I said, just make sure that you have a healthy relationship with the food that you are eating. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, it doesn't matter what this person is doing. And I think with social media, a lot of people get lost in how I'm gonna do this and how I'm gonna do that. There's a lot of things that I eat that people cannot eat. Like I eat, like I told you, I eat rice every freaking day. Who gonna stop me? Some people can't have rice. Like if they have rice, it'll mess them up. Like, you know, it just just see what works for you. I said take an entire six months and gauge what works and what doesn't work. So if you need it's take a six months trial period. Go vegan for six months. Is it working for you? Go vegetarian for six months. Is that working for you? Go pescatarian for six months. Is that working for you? I think the best way to graduate to becoming a vegan or a vegetarian is going pescatarian first. Pescatarian is actually my favorite. I prefer, of all the different substitutes or types of eating, I prefer pescatarian because I love fish. Lo like, what else did I say I love fish? But I had decided to not go pescatarian because like I said, when I was cutting meat out of my diet, I was living in Kentucky. They don't have good fish in Kentucky. I'm from, I'm from the islands, I'm from Jamaica, I'm from the Caribbean, and I'm used to a fish coming from the ocean in all its glory. So when I went to Kentucky and I had the fish there, I was like, this is not fish, this is wet toilet paper and I'd rather not. So I cut fish out of my diet, I cut everything, because it just didn't taste the same to me and I didn't see the point so I cut it out. So, before I go to bed, like after I've had my salad and everything, like right before I try to fall asleep and fail, <laughs> um, I like to have kombucha. Okay, you guys have probably seen that on my, on my channel. I usually have kombucha like after lunch or after dinner. I like to have kombucha after a meal. I feel like it helps me digest my food a little bit better and just really gets, you know, my gut working. So I'm gonna show you the one that I have. I have several different kinds, by the way, or sometimes I will have a charcoal shot right before I go to bed, and this is the one from Fresh Juicery. Now, I have heard, no, they're going to cut this out from Fresh Juicery in California because there's going to be some kind of law passing where you can um, sell people charcoal to drink. I don't really know the mathematics behind it, but they're, they'll be getting rid of this really, really soon. I like, this is one of my favorite brands, it's Healthy Kombucha. I also like, I will put in the description box below a bunch of my favorites. I like the cayenne cleanse, I'll have that after dinner. This one is really good to have in the morning as well because it's cayenne cleanse. Da -da 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 -da. A lot of people don't like kombucha. When it comes to kombucha, I don't really experiment. I stick with anything that's ginger, lemon, something that's gonna help me digest my food because the other flavors is just fluff to me. I could be wrong. Like I said, I have no proof to back up anything that I'm saying. I'm just chatting shit. But I just prefer these flavors. So anything lemon, anything ginger lemon, anything with pepper, anything like that is what I stick to. I don't really go for the like decorated, sweet flavored type of ones. So this is what I will have before I fall asleep or, you know, try to fall asleep. I'll drink this before bed. And the last thing I will take before bed, like right after I have that, I'll brush my teeth, I'll do my 10,000 step face routine, and then I will take my vitamins, and I will show you the two vitamins that I've been loving. Um, Mighty Night helps overnight cell renewal for skin and body, and it's in this blue bottle. And that's the one I will have right before bed. I have been taking these, I found these in Target. 
I tried a few of them and this is my favorite one, the Daily Cleanse. Hum also has a Daily Cleanse. I don't like Hum's Daily Cleanse. I prefer this one. Let me tell you something, this is my third bottle of this one. You hear me? This is, will it focus? This is my third bottle of Daily Cleanse and I'll take two of these before bed and this will get everything in my body like functioning and then when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to say any more. I don't need to get graphic. You already know what happens in the morning. But this helps with that. Because I never used to be able to do that. But this, like, clears out my skin. Like, really has me looking like I have two baby daddies and they both love me, you know? So, that is what I eat in a day. I don't know if you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing a workout with me video because you did. You guys asked me what I do when I go to the gym. If there's anything else that you guys want me to shoot um, food related, I will do another because I have some recipes that I have invented on my own. Because when I went vegan, like when I stopped eating meat, why do I keep putting that label on myself? When I stopped eating meat, I was living in Kentucky and there wasn't a lot of restaurants, so I had to learn to make a lot of foods on my own. So I started to make, a, I like to, I started to experiment. There is a butternut squash stew that I do with coconut milk that is everything. And when I see how this comes out when I edit it, then I'll know how to shoot the next one to make it better. I'm going to show you guys how I make that because it's bomb.com and anybody can make it and you can substitute butternut squash or sweet potato and you have all the ingredients in Jamaica and it is so freaking good. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that and I'm going to show you guys how to make my pancakes. I like to make pancakes, but homemade pancakes. So those are the next two things I'm going to show you how to make. I don't like store-bought pancakes. They just don't taste the same to me with the pancake mix. They're absolutely disgusting. I don't like them. They're disgusting. I said what I said. I personally don't like them. So if you don't really like pancake mix and you want me to show you how I make my homemade pancake with blueberries, the next video, I got you. So, I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Peace, love, and light. And tell me, if you like this video, thumbs up. Because guys, it took me forever to set up my kitchen for this. <laughs> but I did it for you. I have a great voice, but I have.